Hi guys, welcome back to another vlog. I hate vlogging like this. I like to sit my camera down because like I can barely even fit my head in the frame. This is so zoomed in, like it's actually offensive. It's nice and bright and early. The sun's not even shining on the side of the house yet. Feeling so much better. I got so much work done towards the end of the week. Um, I've still been eating FODMAP, but I don't know if I'll show you guys my recipes. I just had some like policing people last time. Honestly, like 99% of you guys were fine. But um, yeah, I just come on here to more like show my life. Yeah, when it comes to diet, like I'd like to think everyone is clever enough in my audience to make their own dietary choices and know their own intolerances to food and stuff and I shouldn't have to disclaim things. But yeah, I guess if people are just gonna directly copy what I eat, I need to be careful what I'm sharing because yeah, everyone's different. But um, anyways, I'll still show you the odd thing here and there. But yeah, I just had some eggs on toast, on some gluten-free toast, and it was so yummy, although the toast was like low-key, not that good. I think it's about to go moldy. But yeah, today is Friday, getting some work done this morning. I need to do my accounts, but I'm gonna hit up a couple of op shops today, so I thought that I would vlog. Hopefully you guys enjoy it, and I'll show you guys at the end of the day what I end up buying. I love thrifting, and like Auckland has such good thrift shops. Like when I used to live here, I'd only go to Recycle Boutique and stuff, because that was near where I used to live. Like I used to live off Simon Street, so I would go to the K Road ones and stuff. Um, and they're still great, but they are a little bit like, I don't know, it's just so hand-picked. It takes the fun out of like sifting through treasures for me because you know it's just like people reselling their clothes it's not like for a charity so people don't bulk donate stuff to those shops i really like going to like yeah ones that actually donate to a good cause i mainly shop there for selfish reasons because i really genuinely enjoy like rifling through things and finding a good bargain but of course it is a cherry on top that you're donating to like charities hospitals that kind of thing hey guys i'm just at the op shop with katie katie just found me this mint linen blazer what do we think i mean it doesn't go with this place suit obviously but i love blazers like this that are so relaxed you have to wear a strapless with it though yeah <laughs> just film your nipples for the internet Anyway, we're at the West Hospice, I think now. I'll write the name on screen. We're gonna do like a little hospice shop crawl today, like an op shop crawl. I love this blazer. Oh, what a good find. I'm also getting these mugs. All my OG viewers will remember that I'm collecting really cringy mugs. As like a conversation started, so I got this Garfield one. Honestly, Loki not even cringed at that because I love Garfield. And then this one, my cat owns me. Next stop, Red Cross Shop in Henderson. <laughs> I just wanted to give you a tip. I've seen this in op shops before. Um, sometimes companies will just donate a whole bunch of stock that doesn't sell. And with these cute little pearl belts, there is like 40 of them here and they're all $2 each. I think I'm going to get one because it's such a cute little skinny belt. Like I don't really wear belts that often, but I think black with pearls. I would definitely wear and it's like two bucks instead of like 20, you know? This is what I was just saying. A boutique. Oh look, they're all Zarful. But mm. like, they might have been sold somewhere else. Someone's just dropped off a bunch of sizes that didn't sell. And they're all like brand new bikinis. That would suit you, that colour. I hadn't even thought about that. Yeah. Oh so cute. Yeah, I love that. And you could just wear it. That little knot trick's good too. I never knew to do that. You could prefer the dress to be honest. I like that, but I'm just a bit concerned about all the stains on it. Mm. I like this too. Is there someone to wash the stains into it and it's hard to get out? Do they have to win them? It's just it's just fine. Does anyone else find this low key creepy? I'll try to put the other one on. 
I'm just in the fitting room. Um, I'm gonna get these cute brand new shoes I found. Little pink slides and that cute photo album. I'm just gonna try on this dress here. I think it might be a bit big for me though, but it's so cute. So this is the dress on, I'm so gutted. It's just too big. Actually gutted, because it's so cute. Oh my gosh, yeah, my boobs would definitely fall out of it. It's so cute though, it's brand new with tags. I wish they had my size. <laughs> No, that's okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We just realized there's another op shop right next door. So that one's Red Cross. This one's St. John's. Opposition. For like competitors. <laughs> I've been keeping an eye out for Brit too. I haven't like seen anything that I think she'd like yet, but oh my gosh, love this teddy display. So creative. Oh my gosh, Katie, bye. This one's huge as well. <gasps> Cute chair. Eight dollars, are you Can kidding? <laughs> oh. oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I'm deceased. There's a mini grand piano and a mini couch. I want it. Is it for the doll's house or is it for my house? It's the real question. Oh my gosh, I'm actually dead over this. What? Okay, yeah, that dress is like $200, I was gonna say. This stuff is so cute. Ah, it's really big in here too. Great little area to check out if you guys are in like Henderson. This is such a cool dresser. Like look at that massive mirror. That'd be so cool in someone's bedroom. I'm gonna grab some more cotton. It's only 50 cents and I'm out of black because I mended that ASOS dress the other day. It's so cheap. So good. I'm so like I'm so offended at my nails right now. I've got to buy nail polish remover today. I haven't taken the polish off because we don't have any at the new house. It looks so feral. So good though if you guys are into sewing. They've got patterns, buttons, presser foots, lace, ribbon, like everything you could need. They've even got like birthday cards, like how cute these little frames and stuff are. Oh, this is such a cute little shop. Well, it's not little, it's freaking huge. Oh my gosh, they've got a sewing machine. I wonder how much that is because I've been kind of keen to get one. Oh, never mind. <laughs> it's like a smoothie maker. Found this cute top from Glassens. I'm unsure if it's see through, I think it's very chiffon y. So I'm trying not to like show off too much, but I think it's so cute. I'm just worried it's see through, but. So cute, it's like five dollars. All right, next outfit. These jeans are an absolute fail. This is why I can't buy jeans, like they're literally loose on the leg. Also, they're too long, which like never happens to me. I can never find jeans that are flaring and nice. Like these are so tight in the crotch because my hips are so wide. I've got like a big hip bone compared to my waist. It's like <laughs> and then like the legs are really baggy. <sighs> it's always such a fail, so. The jeans are no good, but I do really like this top. Like really like it, it's so flattering. I've got this um, burgundy pencil skirt to try on too, so they might look cute together, so I'll leave this on for that. But yeah, it's got great breast room. Like it actually does fit me really well, but it's just not like super comfy. I usually like to buy my clothes too big for me because they're just like way comfier, but yeah, I guess for like a night out, this could be really cute. It's still like 15 bucks though. Like it's new with tags, but it was only like 20 something dollars new, so it's not that good of a deal. But I do really like it, so I don't know. Skirt is a Japanese brand, so I'll be really surprised if this fits me. So it actually does fit. It's very tight again though in the hips, and it's kind of too loose in the stomach. I don't know if you can see, but like across here, it's taut. And then here it's like weirdly baggy, like I don't think I can pull it up more. I don't really know what's happening there. Is it like a maternity skirt? I don't think so because there's not enough space for that. It's got a little slit so you can walk more easily. Just can't even want to buy it right now because I'm just like profusely sweating and it's a woolen. But yeah it's not quite right. I love the concept of it but it's a bit baggy and these loops are a bit like flappy. I mean I could just unpick those but yeah. I don't know though, will I regret not getting it? I feel like I'll watch this vlog back and be like, oh it looked so cute, but honestly actually it is a pretty good fit. 
If I gained like a millimeter more weight though, it would be not as good. Hmm, I'll go ask Katie. You can get it after if you want. I'm just vlogging my food. Are you? What a hungus. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to be in my vlog? Do it. Do it. <laughs> Do it. Do it. Do it. Just got this package in the mail from OPI. They did DM me on Instagram. So I was expecting something, but I didn't know when or what it would be. Oh, oh my gosh. What? This is so exciting. Literally, guys, ow, I just picked up a cactus. <laughs> Wow, that was a really stupid idea. I didn't realize it was a cactus, so I picked it up from the top. Oh, cute. Guava soda. Oh, yeah, put that in the fridge. I love this one here. It's like a terracotta y color. It's called Mural Mural on the Wall. <laughs> so cute. Thank you so much, OPI. I doubt they'll watch this, but these are all the shades. If you guys are into nail polish, I mean, I used to be obsessed with nail polish, so. I won't judge any of you if you are obsessed with OPIs. Literally, when I worked at Countdown, I would take $25 a week out of my paycheck to go to farmers and buy an OPI. What are we going to do with the cactus, Katie? Should we put it in the kitchen? Yes. All the dirt's going everywhere. Yeah. Now, this is a plant I probably can actually keep alive because cactuses are pretty resilient. Not gonna focus. Focus on the cactus. So I just got home and I'm watching Graveyard Girl. I thought I'd open these shoes I got from Boohoo. I got these shoes just to wear with like light pink. Let me pause that video. I feel like a couple of my clothing items do not go with black shoes and all my shoes are black basically and i just love that these had a chunky heel so they're gonna be really comfy but they're really trendy because i've got the square toe that's in right now they are like a suede fabric which is the only thing so i feel like they get grubby quickly so i'm going to try and not wear them out clubbing or anything like that also if my voice sounds weird it's because i'm literally upside down right now these are the shoes on so comfy because the heel is really thick i just feel like in photos like especially from a front on view, they've got the square toes. They're really trendy. I'm just sorting through my op shop purchases too. Good morning, guys. Uh, Britt and I are going to the laundromat to do our washing because my washing machine is not here yet. I think all my furniture comes on the 7th is my ETA. And we're out in Henderson because there's a really good cheap one here. It's called like Royal Laundromat or something. They have like security cameras and someone manning the place. You can actually leave and like go do other stuff while your laundry's on, which is always good. So we're gonna hit up the op shops again because Britt was at work yesterday. Just turned into like a whole op shop vlog and like I'm kind of here for it. Hi! Hi! So hot in here, we are dying, but I got this skirt to try on, some pants, this bomber jacket, which honestly I do not need another jacket, but it's so nice, like for $8. And I found this cute top from Sabo skirt too, which hopefully fits me. Here's the bomber, it's actually really cute. I probably won't get it because I just don't need another jacket, but yeah, it's super cute. I'll leave it here if anyone wants to get it. <laughs> Hospice West Auckland, there you go. That's where we are. This is the Sabo skirt top. I think it's just like, okay. Like it doesn't really do anything for me. Like it's kind of an awkward length on me. Kind of looks like a tablecloth, but it's cute. Nice and breezy, I just don't think I'll get it. Who else remembers tops like this from the 90s and they just like stretch in to fit your body? I just finished it that one. I actually didn't even try on the pants and the skirt because I just got way too sweaty. It was so hot in there. I think also because I came yesterday, like I had kind of already got everything that I liked. Just cleaned the house, having lunch. Oh yeah. Op shopping was a slight fail. We just got really hot. It is such a hot day today. So I'm gonna go for a cold drink with my cousin. So just got my standard jewelry. These are my little hospice finds from the other day. I don't think I actually showed you guys. I'm gonna like sit down tomorrow and properly show you everything I got. But I managed to find these Gucci glasses for $4 really like festival-y and quite chic. My friend was making fun of me because I keep being like, this would be great for a festival <laughs> for like everything in the op shop. And then this top is from Glassons. It's so cute. I bought it in all the colors. Green one and the white one. And then this is just the black one. And you can make them more like ruched like that if you want. Or you can just have them like a bit longer. And then this skirt, you probably can't see actually. I got it from H&M a while ago and I'm wearing slides as well. And then just my little croc bag from ASOS. So 
super casual and I'm wearing the Latan tan as well if you guys are wondering why I'm like slightly more brown than normal oh my gosh I did my contour in like my bedroom I think it looks terrible can't tell but honestly don't even care it's so hot today my makeup's like tragic manicure time and we just went to Carl's Jr which I didn't vlog but I should have season one episode four Oh yeah, because we watched it on my account. Yeah. Even though it was your laptop, so it's up to date. Should I get my cuticle pushy thing? Yes, please. Okay. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna wake you up. There, between Kenny and I. I mean, it's... I it's, can push them if you want. I don't want to, like, brush anything. <laughs> any sex. I mean, like, I just want to, like... <laughs> if you guys haven't watched yeah, Love is Blind, you have to. I'm sure you probably yeah, have because it's like viral on Netflix, but it's so good. It's like a love experiment yeah, show. This stuff is so runny. You're so oh. runny. I was not sorry. I hope it doesn't so flood my nail yeah, bed. That's how it's alright. Probably spend more time. Two hours later. That's not what she felt. How do you know what she felt? We're not born. <gasps> Please, for the love of God. <laughs> Well, stop speaking okay. else. <laughs> Hello guys. Wait, let me move you back. I was editing this video and I realized I never took the time to properly show you what I got from the op shop. Even though I like showed you trying me stuff on and everything. Um, by the way, I look like this right now. <laughs> but I know some people really like the resolution of seeing what you actually got. And I'm kind of the same. So I'm going to show you. Um, so when I was with my friend Tom, I actually picked up these Gucci sunglasses from... I believe it was the, is it called Northwest? Like shopping complex, there's a hospice shop there. And these were $4. They might be fake, but they honestly feel nice and heavy and really sturdy. There is one tiny fix. I feel like the screw is coming a little loose on this side. So I've tried tightening it with a blunt knife and then like a little mini nail scissor thing. And it's just not quite like it. It's not going to fall off or anything, but I don't know, eventually I'll get around to fixing that. I need to get one of those mini screwdriver sets almost that you get in like Christmas crackers. Do you know what I mean? I asked Brett, my flatmate, if he had one, but he couldn't find one. Oh my gosh, there's like corn chip dust in here. Because last night we watched Love is Blind for like five hours non-stop. And Brett put the corn chips in here before he went to sleep. So <laughs> it's just like corn chip crumbs and everything. Um, but anyway, next I got these shoes. They're by the brand Capture, which I feel like is maybe like an easy buy brand or something. I'm honestly not 100% sure. But they're so chic and cute. They look like a little Ted Baker shoe or something. I've taken the tag off them, sorry, because I actually did wear them yesterday. Yeah, they had like the peel off thing on the bottom of the shoe, like they'd never been worn. And they were $10, which I think is a really good price for something brand new. And they're my size, they're just so cute. I'm not very good at my flat shoes, like I kind of only have sneakers really. And then I have heels, you know, I don't really have many dressy flats. I've got one nice pair of slides. But sometimes the outfit doesn't call for slides and all my flats are also black. So I think it's nice to have a more chic girly pair if I'm wearing like a little summer dress or something. Um, so yeah, I'm so stoked with those. And where were these from? These were from the St. John's op shop that I showed you guys. And also, so the other thing I got with my friend Tom was this Oraton bag. And this I got again from Northwest. So these were from the same shop. Let me move this so I can kind of show you. Oh, it's not going to be the full effect because I've not got a cute outfit on. You have to imagine this is a cuter outfit, okay? But with like a little clubbing dress or like going out shopping, it's so cute. I love Oraton bags. They remind me of my Nana. And I'm sure if any of you guys ask your Nana, they will know what Oraton is. It's still quite a popular designer brand. Um, but back when I like grannies were younger it was like the hot brand and their kind of trademark is this like metal cover over their bags it's like a sheet and it is like covering the silky fabric underneath I don't know how to explain it but this is properly vintage like it's still in really nice condition if you guys can see the label in there probably not but yeah it's authentic oraton and this was a little bit more um, because that was a really boutique op shop this was $25 but doesn't bother me it's in really nice condition and it's a white handbag I feel like I need to like cinch in my giant top for this to look cute but yeah it's white and the only other little like going out bag I have is black so yeah I'm so stoked at that and I'm gonna feel like a little vintage movie star when I use it I just love that it like has its own history and it's authentic vintage if you guys don't mind that I'm like in a horrific state also I've been trying on bracelets Oh, it's my hair tie. Yeah, it's all happening. But how cute is this shell one? This is the Swarovski new collection. I've done it up too tight. Look, it's like cutting my circulation off. 
so cute though i feel like shells are so trendy right now and these are just crystal bracelets from the market that i was like just found again you know how it is when you're like unpacking all right let's bring the bag back ended up picking up one of those belts that i showed you guys this was only two dollars I don't know what brand it's from, but it would have just been one of those online boutiques that like sources stuff from Asia. So cute. Did end up getting that shirt from Cotton On as well. This was 15. I also got some cotton because um, I just mended that ASOS dress that I tried on for you guys in my last haul and I used up all my black thread. I just knew next time I needed to mend something, I didn't want to go to my sewing kit and not have black thread. But that was 50 cents. I think she gave it to me for free because like nobody actually buys thread from there. She was like, oh. I'll just give you this in the mug for like a dollar. Yeah, I'll show you the mugs I got too. I forgot about that. And then this was from the West Auckland Hospice. This linen one. So that is what I got. And I also got some mugs for my cool mug collection. Grand plan for a while to buy these like quirky, super cringy mugs from the op shop. It's like a conversation starter for when people come around. Like it'll be like, Gavin, best boss ever. And they'll be like, who's Gavin? Because it cracks me up that so many people donate their mugs to the op shop with literal, they've like screen printed mugs of like their dad or someone from work and then they donate it. And if for some reason I just find it hysterical because I'm like, Gavin, like, do you really think someone's gonna buy a mug with your face on it? Like, why would you donate that, you know? That's the whole concept, but I also love it. And like, I want all those mugs. So these aren't like super cringy, but just wanted to get my collection started and I also really love them. I got this Garfield mug. It's not even that cringe. I mean, it kind of is for like someone my age to be buying. <laughs> it's like something my mum would buy. Um, but that's why I love it. It's like mum energy. And also I love Garfield, so I got that one. These were like 50 cents each or something. I got this one, which is like very Facebook Karen vibes. It's my cat owns me. Also like it's me, literally the cat's on the road own me like I go out at night and just sit in the middle of the road and pet them and then I got this one which is super cute like 90s vibes like imagine having a little hot chocolate out of this you should have seen Brittany's face when I bought these home she was like revolted with me she's like what like those are not going in our house I'm like yes they are bitch I might end the vlog now because it's pretty much full-length vlog at this stage and I'm so excited the next vlog's gonna be super, super, super exciting because my ETA for all my furniture and everything is this Friday I can't wait. Hopefully the date doesn't change or anything like that. Um, but yeah, it's set for the 7th right now. So I'm like so excited to have my bed and be able to set everything up and like put prints on the wall. And we're going to have a TV in our lounge and a washing machine because of what we're going to the laundromat. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Obviously I'm feeling a lot better. I've been forgetting to address it because yeah, I haven't been feeling as sick, um, which has been really good. I've still been eating FODMAP, but I haven't been like crazy healthy like we've been cooking healthy meals i've been eating healthy breakfasts and stuff but i still like had a glass of wine when i went out with my cousin and like yesterday we went to carl's jr and i got fries like i'm not being you know too hard on myself because you know i haven't got allergies as such it's just like common sense stuff like easing back on you know processed foods and all that kind of thing for the most part just while your gut is like getting back into the gist of things I suppose um but yeah my test came back I don't have a parasite so that's good um yeah the doctor was like I just think it was a bacterial infection just finish the medicine I gave you and you'll be all good and yeah I feel fine now so hopefully that's the end of it <laughs> I actually have to tell um Darnell and Abby from Johnson and Leah that it wasn't a parasite because they were literally emailing me like Getty images That's not the right thing Getty images is like red carpet, but like stock photo images of Parasites and they're like hi Perry like I hope you're well <laughs> They're gonna be actually disappointed like they're gonna hold a funeral for Perry and be like oh my gosh He never came to fruition, but like RIP Perry I really want to start like dance classes or something So I'm gonna look into that like I feel like for my fitness it's really good but also I love dancing like I was such a dance girl growing up did all the gymnastics jazz ballet all that good stuff um, I actually did Irish dancing for a while I did tap dancing like I just did all the dance classes you could imagine really that was me and like piano classes I was that girl you know like that girl at school that did dance and music so I'd love to do, honestly, Shakira's Super Bowl performance has made me want to do a belly dancing class. I don't know if I'd be any good at it, but I just think it would be fun. Some kind of dance would be fun. But yeah, there's a gym kind of near me, so I need to look up if they do like Zumba. I also love spin class, because um, yeah, I just have had no energy for like a month, and so I'm feeling really good, and I just want to like build on that, you know, and have more energy and mental clarity. But anyways... <laughs> 
I always like rant at the end of my vlogs, hope you guys don't mind. Um, <laughs> but yeah, that's basically all my updates for now. I'm so excited for the next vlog, but yay, we have our table. Actually, I think that was the last vlog. This vlog was all just like thrifting, but I knew you guys would love to come along because we all love a good op shop over here. Let me know if you want me to do any op shop challenges. Any requests, just leave them down below. Okay guys, why does that look normal? These are literally upside down. Talk to you soon. <laughs> Bye.